okay guys, um, I just thought I would give a little rundown on the wiring of this because I got given this and it did not have the cable which has got the Molex 6 pin here. It didn't have this so I had to make this and it took a little bit of research but thankfully I found a good post actually on the AEM forum which was kind of nice and one of their tech people was on there and they they gave the pinouts and it was like um, it was super helpful. Um, another thing to note is these gauges actually they come with a Wayo sensor which is basically just a normal Bosch LSU 4.2 sensor but it's got a funny plug on it so you can't actually just exchange it with any one of those normal Boss LSU 4.2 sensors that you can find everywhere. So it actually was pretty advantageous that I didn't have that so that I um, could wire it up to it just a standard uh, standard wideband plug which like this one here happens to be a, a Volkswagen Audi one but I know that Delphi do them as well and you can buy them uh, mouse or electronics, RS online, any of those like things you can buy them along with the pins and stuff and it's um, super easy to do but anyway what I will do is I will go through it and basically on this plug here because they have this four pin connector already which is obviously your power and your ground plus your analog 5 volt output plus your uh, 1 to 2 volt output which you can use as an narrowband they count the pins from this side going across this way so obviously the six pin starts at number five five six seven eight nine ten the white wire is your uh, is your heater earth the orange wire is your sensor voltage the red wire is the pump current the green wire is for the reference resistor the black wire is for the sensor earth and the brown wire is your plus 12 volts for your heater. And the way you connect them up into the sensor is like this. So one is the black wire, two is the green wire, three is the brown wire, four is the white wire, five is the orange wire, and finally six is the red wire. So if you do that, then you can add one of these normal plugs and then you can use them just with a normal sensor. And these are, yeah, uh, you can buy the AEM sensor, of course, and the wiring. Um, the wiring is 25 US dollars and um, the sensor is like 85 or 90 or something. It's, yeah, kind of over the top, I think. Um, especially considering that Molex plug uh, cost me I think about 20 cents off off uh, Mauser. This plug costs about a dollar. Um, obviously, you have to buy the pins and the wires and stuff. But for all up about four dollars, uh, you can make your own adapter harness, and then you can save uh, save all that money. And when these sensors die, which they invariably do, then it's easy to find replacements. Uh, you can usually get them at your local part shop. So that's, I uh, just thought I would do a quick little update on that just because, yeah, it makes your life just a little bit easier.